प्लीज सर्कुलेट टेन थिंग्स ए हिंदू कैन डू वाइल यूजिंग इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज वन प्लीज शॉप यूजिंग द टर्म गॉड फियरिंग हिंदूज नेवर एवर फियर गॉड फॉर अस गॉड इज एवरीवेयर एंड वी आर आल्सो पार्ट ऑफ गॉड गॉड इज नॉट अ सेपरेट एंटिटी टू फियर इट इज इंटीग्रल नंबर टू प्लीज डू नॉट यूज द मीनिंगलेस टर्म आर आई पी वन समन डाइज यूज ओम शांति सदगति और आई विश दिस आत्मा अटेंड्स मोक्षा सदगति उत्तम लोकास Hinduism neither has the concept of soul nor its resting the terms atma and jiva are in a way antonyms for the word soul to be understood in detail number 3 please don't use the word mythology for our historic epics itihas ramayana and mahabharata rama and krishna are historical heroes not just mythical characters number 4 please don't be apologetic about idol worship and say who oh, that's just symbolic all religions have idolatry in kinds or forms cross words letters calligraphy or direction also let's stop using the words the words idols statues or images when we refer to the sculptures of our gods use the terms murti or vikraha if words like karma yoga guru and mantra can be in the mainstream why not murti or vigraha number 4 please don't refer to ganesh and hanuman as elephant god and monkey god respectively you can simply write shri ganesh and shri hanuman number 5 please don't refer to our temples as prayer halls temples are devalaya a board of god and not prarthanalaya prayer halls number 6 please don't wish your children black birthday by allowing them to blow off the candles that are kept on the top of the birthday cake don't throw spit on the divine fire agni deva instead ask them to pray who oh, divine fire lead me from darkness to light tamaso ma jyotirgamaya by lighting a lamp these are all strong images that go deep into the psyche number 7 please avoid using the words spirituality and materialistic for a hindu everything is divine the words spirituality and materialism came to india through evangelists and europeans who had a concept of church versus state or science versus religion on the contrary in india sages were scientists and the foundation stone of sanatan dharma was science number 9 please don't use the word sin instead of papa we only have dharma duty righteousness responsibility and privilege and adharma when dharma is not followed dharma has nothing to do with the social or religious morality papa derives from adharma number 10 please don't use a loose translation like meditation for dhyana and breathing exercise for pranayama it conveys wrong meanings use the original words remember the world respects only those who respect themselves please pass it on is that people can understand about hindu dharma thank you